Whatever you configure in the SSL VPN through your FortiGate, you can also configure a host check. That is another way to determine that the other side has the right OS version, has an antivirus, and so on. You can do it using the graphical user interface, SSL VPN portal, and from there you can determine the uh, specific parameters that are needed. But that is only the beginning. Using the command line, you can also configure a specific process that needs to be running. You can also configure a computer name that needs to be there. Let's look at how we configure a host check using a specific process. If that process will not run, the SSL VPN will disconnect. All right, so let's configure the condition and from there we will set up the host check policy. Let's open up the, com the command line, config VPN, SSL, sorry for that, web host check software. Now, usually if you, if you use the get or the show, you will see the list of antivirus software and so on. But here we're actually configuring a new condition. So let's just use, uh, let's edit and let's name our condition Chrome. All right, now let's config the check item list and let's edit the first condition. We will not use more than one condition, but you can use more than one condition. And the type of the condition, you can see that you can choose between file, you can choose even between registry, and the last one is process, and we are choosing process. All right, now let's set the target, and the target is the Chrome process. Now, uh, if Chrome process is not running while connecting to that SSL VPN portal, then the SSL VPN will actually disconnect. If someone uses, um, I don't know, Firefox and not using Chrome, it will disconnect. All right, so let's just and that and the second thing is to actually configure and create the host check policy all right so let's config vpn ssl web portal and let's just there it is we will use the full access vpn and let's set the host check now we will actually use the host the custom host check since we're actually configuring a new condition and our new condition is the one that we've created before which is chrome now let's look for chrome let's just use the initials and there we have it. So that's the way to configure a specific process that needs to be running whenever you set up an SSL VPN.